Zippity doodah, beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey everybody, this is Chris Brown here again. Uh, this evening I'm hanging out here at the uh, Floridian Resort here in Walt Disney World again. And uh, the whole purpose of this, these, these videos throughout this video series is we're sharing with you the results of $1.5 billion in research of what all the world's most successful businesses and people have in common. And so the whole purpose of this is you can take this information apply it into your business and that way we can help you to reach whatever your definition of financial success is whatever you would like to get out of your business now what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to talk about something that that's rather unique and um, i'm not really sure how to really start it but let me talk about some other things and let's let's get to that here here in a moment now if you remember back in in a a few videos ago, we shared with you that the average small and medium sized business owner here in America is working about an average about six hours more than they need to. And so there's a lot of you who run very, very labor intensive businesses, you know, working 12, 14 hours, six to seven days a week, you know, 12, 14 hours a day. Um, you may have heard me tell the story uh, about how I used to sell tools with my business partner, Paul Gonzalez, a number of years ago. We'd sell these tools over the phone, and we were selling to these guys, again, working six, seven days a week, 12, 14 hours a day. But because of we were implementing this, the, the type of strategies that those European countries are implementing, uh, we were, you know, getting to the office about six o'clock in the morning and by noon we were at the beach. We were done with our day and we were making a lot more than even the guys that we were selling to because we understand the quantum physics. We understand the stuff that, that Peter Drucker was talking about. Um, but here's part of the, 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 the problem with this, okay? Not the problem with the strategy, but the problem of what you're doing in, in your business. You have very labor intensive businesses, first of all. You're relying on one stream of income. And what you have to do is a lot of you have to sell the service, right? Let's say you're a carpet cleaner or a dentist or construction worker or whatever it is that you do. You're in a trades type of business. You have to sell the service, right? And once you sell your, the service, you don't want to cheat the customer. So you have to perform the service that you sold and perform the service that they bought, right? And then you have to, once you do that, and then you have to sell the service and do it and sell the service and do it. And then so what a lot of times happens is during that transition, while they're doing the actual work, a lot of these business owners will stop marketing because they don't have time to market. Uh, and this is again another solution of why a blog is so important for you because Google and the search engines are going to start sending you traffic and because of that uh, again if you've watched the video uh, the unfair advantage marketing system you'll, you would have found that out uh, but all the Google and the search engines are, are going to start driving you traffic just because you have a blog and just because you're blogging and that way you won't have to do that. Your blog is going to be doing the selling for you, so you don't have to worry about that. So that is the solution to that problem. Now, another problem is you have what is called as a linear based income. You're only making money by exchanging time for money. Now, one of the, one of the, the topics or, or one of the results of this $1.5 billion in research is this other principle that I'm going to share with you right now. And that is that the average millionaire has seven streams of income. Remember, I don't care what it is that you do. I don't care what your financial goals are. Maybe you just want to get ahead. But do the things that millionaires do, right? And you'll have a, a, a lot better chance of just being able to get ahead. You know, like I mentioned before, a lot of times people just go for the narrow. You know, I only need this to reach my goal. I only need $3,000 a month to pay my bill. That's all I need. And because that we're only reaching for $3,000 a month, we're running short and that's why we have no money. Where let's say that we were going for $7,500 or let's say even another $1,000. Let's say that we were going for $4,000 a month. Well, if we went for $4,000 a month, I, and I understand for a lot of you, the numbers that I'm talking about are, are very, very low. Um, I also understand that some of you, that might be high, but just kind of depends on on your circumstances and your situations i have i have customers that uh you know run two billion have companies that do two billion dollars a year so i you know uh, i 
it's all relative. It just depends on who you are, who's the, the actual people who are watching this video, who it is. So, uh, but uh, the, the point again is, if you're just reaching for the bare minimum, if you're just trying to reach your goal, chances are you're gonna fall short. So what we need to do is we need to reach beyond that goal. So if you're just trying to get ahead, what you wanna do is you wanna do the things that millionaires do. You might not become a millionaire, but what you will do is you'll have a, a better chance of getting ahead than what you're doing right now. Now, again, as you can see here, what by the topic that we're talking about, it's not gonna take a lot of time. Millionaires actually work less hours than most people who are trying to make a living because they're focusing on a whole different thing. Uh, average, you know, general people are just trying to make a living. Rich people are trying to get rich. Rich people are have, trying to have a lifestyle and not just make a living. So they're reaching out for different things. So uh, w when it comes down to your business, again, you have what is called as a linear income. And that is income where you exchange time for money. Now you also have what is known as a passive income. And this is an income that you don't have to work for that comes in what with with little or no work at all so we've talked about a block now let me tell in our video so in the video of the unfair advantage marketing system on the right hand side of this video you'll learn about a gentleman by the name of uh, of, of tim carter tim carter is a handyman now wouldn't you imagine a handyman is very very busy very labor intensive business but because of his blog and because of leveraging advertising revenue on his blog according to the Google website it says that he is making thirty thousand dollars per month now how does a handyman have enough hours in his day to make thirty thousand dollars per month he has he doesn't he doesn't at all but because he's leveraging his time utilizing passive income in his businesses that's why he's able to do this well, let me tell you about another story and it has nothing to do with the blog now there's another gentleman he's a chiropractor okay and uh, what he did is he used what what we call as a mass marketable product I don't really have time to get into it in, in this video it's basically just a product that the vast majority of the population will buy what he did is just a very cheap and inexpensive product he sold 30,000 customers with that and those 30,000 customers helped him to finance his two chiropractic offices and helped him to finance his Range Rover so that's one of the ways that he did it uh, we got a uh, there's just tons of other stories. I have so many stories that I could share with this with you on. It's, you know, it's kind of hard to, to pick and choose which one I want to share with you. But let me uh, tell you about this, uh, this, this lawyer. His name is Ben Glass. And Ben Glass is a lawyer. Obviously, lawyers are generally very stressed out, you know, have a lot of they're very busy, right? Wouldn't you agree? Well, what he does is he, he, he sells products to help other lawyers to become successful. There's another dentist and he sells, a, uh, he sells a, a book on Amazon and sells different products through Amazon. And that's different ways in which you can leverage your time. Now, let's look at the blog for a moment. Again, having a blog is, is very, very important. Now, what you can do is you can earn advertising revenue on your blog. Um, if you're looking, depending on where you're watching this, you might see ads in my videos, um, but we get paid advertising revenue from those. Now, let's say, let's use an example. And this is the example that I use in the video of the unfair advantage working system, okay, on the side of this video. And uh, let's say that you're a dentist and you don't sell, uh, sell dental insurance, would you? No. But on your blog, what you could do is you could join a free affiliate program. Affiliate programs are free. You can join companies from Amazon, Target, uh, Walmart, and you can join these, these things that are called affiliate programs. You can put these links on your blog and you could review, uh, review dental insurance plans and you could make, make money from dentalplans.com. Amazon is another example. Now, with Amazon, which is kind of unique, no matter what they buy from your blog, uh, on average, in about 60 days, the average person will spend about $800 on Amazon, which you would earn a commission from. Well, so what's going on is there are tons of products that you could partner up with the Amazons, the Walmarts, the Targets, tons of other companies like that, put their links on your blog, and you could market and sell products or refer products to to your blog readers that are slightly connected 
to your, they're just products that you're not marketing, that you're not selling because depending on what industry that you're in, but they're products and services that are related to what it is that you do.